Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have my Unler Aller unboxing for you. My name's Miranda. Welcome to my channel. I've got Winnie in the back. Um, I've got coffee on my side. And then, yeah, so let's just get right into it. Before we start, can you just give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to? I would love to have you be a part of my clan. I'm actually trying to work on a different name. Clan? McQueen team? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let's just get right into it. So this is my other beauty box. I get it every month. Last month it wasn't so great. It was very heavy on the skincare. I believe it goes for $28 a month. I'm not sure. Inside the box. That's what it looks like. This is your pamph pamphlet where everything you get is in here and I think it tells you like how much they are. I'm really bad at telling prices to you guys and I kind of just like skip that whole thing. And then something about Mother's Day. All right. Looks like a very small amount of items in here. But the first thing that I see is this Eva NYC. I'm very caffeinated, so my hands are shaking crazily. Um, this is a Freshen Up Invisible Dry Shampoo. Um, their packaging kind of reminds me of Amiga packaging. It's very pretty. This is cute. It's a nice little travel size in case you guys want to go on uh, vacation and bring that with you. It's like the perfect size for that. So the retail price for this goes for six dollars um this spray checks every dry shampoo box you want adds volume without feeling like anything is in your hair and doesn't leave behind a visible residue which i struggle with so much this is day three sunday monday tuesday this is day three hair for me and i've been using the verb dry shampoo that i got in my sephora haul and i just i don't know i feel like even though I use it, it still kind of looks a little greasy. Like, I just can't find something that I really like. Also, let me know if you guys like what I did with my hair. I just gave it a little curl with my Bondi Boost um, curling iron. I want to kind of give this a go. Let me see. Sorry, Winnie. <laughs> it's got that... Um, standard dry shampoo scent that I can't stand. I don't know. It, it's not that bad. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have tried this before, if you like it. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think about it. All right. The next thing I see in the box is by, I'm not going to say this right, Uma, Uma, Badass MF, I'm not going to say it, I'm not going to say it, and this is a matte lip liner. So I don't use lip liners, especially matte ones. My lips are very, very dry, and I'm definitely going to... This is the color. I'm going to pass this on to somebody because I wouldn't have to scratch it. It looks, it looks pretty, but I don't use lip liners. So I also have really sensitive lips. So some things, some lip products that I use actually, um, I don't know why, but it brings out cold sores for me. So I have to be very careful on what I use. But next thing in the box is by Refi and it's a brow pomade. I got the color medium. I like brow products. I'm not, I don't use. All right, okay. So here's the brush and you probably have to, yep you dip the brush into 
the product right here and then you kind of like define your eyebrows. This looks way too light. That looks like for somebody who's like dirty blonde. My eyebrows are almost black. That's insane. So I'm not gonna be able to use this product. I'll give this away to somebody. I don't know who. Moving on. Oh, so I didn't even tell you guys how much the price, see I told you I'm bad at it. Okay, so the Refi Brow Pomade is $20 and the lip liner is 16. Okay, the next thing that I see in the box, so Mighty Patch, they're for pimples. They're like pimple patches. I don't really struggle with acne at all. Maybe once in a blue moon or when I use retinol, sometimes my skin purges and brings out like a zit. But I'm probably going to pass this on to my friend who has... Um, daughters who are struggling with acne so I'll do that and then a revitalizing mask by I think it's Kibon Kibon and this is a lifting and firming mask okay it's a sheet mask Last thing that I see, it's like <laughs> nicely wrapped. I'm just gonna unwrap it like a Christmas gift. All right, so this is Sunday Riley, the Be Nice 10% Niacinamide Serum. Water-based 10% Niacinamide Serum supercharged with trans reversitrol Reduces the look of pore size, surface redness, and blotchy tone for balanced, clearer looking radiance. I don't know if I'll be able to use this, if it's going to bother my rosacea. That's what it looks like. Very fancy. Can't get it out of the box. I didn't want to drop it. Okay, it's glass. I want to see how much this goes for. Sixty-five dollars. Sixty-five. Holy moly. That is a lot of money. Oh my god. Well, that, that's everything in the box. Not very exciting. I mean, this is kind of exciting. But again, there literally was like no makeup in this box. Like I said, it's kind of heavy on the skincare. So I, I swear, I thought I saw something online that they were like doing a palette in something else. I don't know if like you're supposed to get something else in the box. Like if they replace one product for something else. No, that's it. Let me, let me know what you guys thought about this box. I'm not impressed like whatsoever. All right. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.